So here we are right next to the law library, and I'm here with the statue, Justice Tempered by Law. This was put here by Glenna Cree, and uh, Miss Beeson really wanted this statue here just for all law students to see. As you see, this is a great study area for Sanford Law students. They come out here and they study, you know, they do their reading, they read their paperwork for all the law classes that they have. But this statue represents so much more for students at Sanford Law School. So here you have the Angel of Mercy and then you have the Lady of Justice. And I, I want you to really focus in on, on the weight and the sword. The sword represents the justice that the law students would like to represent at Sanford Law School. And the weight, you know, the balance, you know, the law that goes, goes within everything that lawyers do. They try to get equality out of everything and what's right and what's wrong. And then lastly over here you have the book. Everybody knows law students come with a lot of reading, a lot of studying, and a lot of hard work. But the Angel of Mercy and the Lady of Justice are big representatives for Sanford Law students. And, and just the engagement that they have is just insurmountable. You know, just coming out here, it almost gives a vibe that's just so great for these Sanford Law students. It's remarkable. Thank you. I've got more in the PowerPoint. When looking at the visual analysis, of the sculpture Justice Tempered by Mercy, put in there by Glenna Cree. This is located in the plaza between the Beeson Law Library and the Robinson Hall. And when Miss Beeson wanted this to be placed in, she had a quote in the Law Library that says, Seek wisdom to temper justice with compassion. And this only fit the sculpture and just really almost solidified it in this plaza, in this area. And like I mentioned in the video, we have the Angel of Mercy, the Lady of Justice, the Sword, and the Weights, all representing something more significant in the Law Library. When getting a closer look of the sculpture Justice Tempered by Mercy, I would like you to focus on the clothing and the time period that it was from. And the clothing looks like it's from the time period of ancient Rome, and that's because Lady Justice was formed in ancient Rome. And the historical background behind that is Lady Justice originates from the personification of justice in ancient Rome art known as Lustia, or Justia, after Latin, who is equivalent to the Greek goddess Themes in Deke. This is extremely important because when looking at ancient Rome and their law at the time, um, it was significantly different than what law is today and the symbol of the judicial system. Uh, back in the day was when it was tolerating abuse and, and ignorance and, and those aspects of law. But of course we've evolved since them in modern times, but Lady Justice still holds symbol uh, in law today and in the Cumberland Law, Bri law Library today. My thesis for the Justice Tempered by Law statue, located outside the Cumberland Law School, is more than just a beautiful statue but it is a representation of the integrity and standard the law school holds its students to. I think this is something very important to focus on as it's right outside the library uh, in the Cumberland Law School. You know, looking at this statue, there are a lot of representations and symbols that imply higher integrity and higher status. And really what true law is, Lady of Justice has been around for so long and she holds such a deep meaning in every law school across the world. And I know Glenna Cree has put this statue many places, but here at Sanford, it is definitely symbolic and it is definitely symbolic to the students um, of the justice and the integrity and the loyalty, the beliefs and the truth that law should hold in each student. With this statue in mind, I went around the Cumberland Law School and asked a few of the Sanford students what their thoughts were on the statue and if they'd seen it and if it put any thoughts into their head. And roughly 80% of them said that this statue made a positive impact on their law career, whether it be the symbols of the sword, the symbol of the weights, the symbol of lady, the Lady of Justice, the symbol of the Angel of Mercy, all of them knew about the statue, they knew what it represented, and each time they went into the law school, it refreshed their memory, and I think that is exactly what Sanford was shooting for and what they wanted it to accomplish. So I think it's 
it's obvious that this statue has an impact on the law school and Sanford as a whole and what Sanford represents. It's easy to assume, but it is true in this scenario that this statue, um, the justice, justice tempered by mercy, clearly had a positive impact on Sanford University and specifically the law students at Cumberland Law School.